I could name this video the tiniest customization ever <laughs> because in this video I'm gonna customize my dog's claws. And first piece for customization is a red sweatshirt with chain. It gives me such bad boy vibes. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a bad boy design on it. And first I'm sketching out design on the sweatshirt with Chuck. And this is gonna be very simple customization, just a couple of graphic images, lettering. And I have a video on my channel where I customize shirt in 20 minutes. And this customization uh, is gonna be 10 minutes customization because it's very tiny. <laughs> And now I'm outlining design with fabric marker, so then it will be easier for me to follow lines and to fill areas with color. And I'm gonna use only black color fabric paint for customization because you know if I add other colors, customization will be too colorful as sweatshirt is already red color. But as I'm trying to create bad boy customization, I need it to be edgy, so no red and black color is a perfect color scheme for a design which I want to create. Lettering is the easiest part of customization because I'm just handwriting baby amor <laughs> And of course, bad boy on the sleeves, even though my dog is a very good boy. <laughs> A couple of paint splashes, finishing touches, I will remove chalk later and then it will look pretty clean. And next piece is hoodie, two colors hoodie and it's so cute. But this hoodie has an embroidery already, so why did I buy it? Because it has a perfect color scheme for the customization which I want to create. My dog's name is Joker, so I want to create a Joker customization. And I thought that this color scheme is perfect for the Joker. So yeah, I'm gonna make this embroidery the part of customization and it will look pretty good. <laughs> And I'm drawing Joker on the hoodie, it's gonna be such cartoonish Joker. And yeah, this customization is gonna be pretty complicated. The first customization was very simple, but this one is gonna be a bit difficult. I'm rising the level of customization just to show you that it's possible to create complicated artworks on such tiny canvases. But working on a tiny canvases, you need to be very careful and you need to use a very small brush. And a little story time for those who don't know why did I name my dog Joker. Because when I first saw my dog, I said, he looks like Batman. Because of the color, because of the ears. But you know, to name him Batman would be too obvious and kind of boring. So I decided to name him the opposite of Batman, which is Joker. And you know, from the first day I've been dreaming to paint uh, clothes for my dog, I just thought that it's so interesting and I've never seen anybody doing that before, painting dog's clothes. But then I decided to wait a bit until my dog grows up, so then I will be able to buy him adult sized clothes. And today is a day, a day when I'm making my dreams come true, I'm painting my dog's clothes.
and I finished to paint Joker and now I'm gonna add again some lettering, some simple images, paint splashes, uh, elements, details which will help me to create the whole aesthetic, the whole vibe of Joker. And the third piece, which needs customization the most, because it's a black color puffer vest, and as this is the same color as my dog, it needs customization ASAP. <laughs> so why did I buy black color vest for black dog? To create a family look, <laughs> because I have a customized puffer coat, which I customized last year, so I want to create the same aesthetic customization on the vest for my dog and then we will be twinning and it will be so cute so i'm gonna create such graffiti customization using spray paint i'm just gonna change you know images and lettering and as the main character of my code customization is a girl the main character of my dog's vest will be a dog <laughs> very logical and it's gonna be very angry dog because even though my dog is so small and it looks so cute actually it has a very brave heart and it's a perfect guardian and for those of you who are wondering about durability of fabric paints on such clothes as puffer jacket well you need to find fabric paints which you can use on synthetic fabrics and then you can paint with them even your puffer jacket and your customization will be very durable Also, I'm using textile spray paint of brand Marabou, it's a German brand. I've never tried to use simple acrylic spray paints on puffer jackets, even though I use simple acrylic spray paints on other kind of clothes, but I guess that they should work on such clothes as well. And what I love about graffiti customization the most that it can look pretty messy using spray paint, using splattering paint, you can create very messy artworks and it will look like the whole aesthetic. So yeah, I think that any beginner can create such customization on their puffer jackets or denim jackets and it will look very cool.
And the final result! And fashion show!